Ben Baggert was born and raised in the Gentilly neighborhood of New Orleans, where he spent his childhood biking to nearby marshlands to hunt for turtles and snakes. A bright and boisterous child, the nuns at St. Leo the Great Catholic School couldn't decide if he was destined for the priesthood or trouble. At Jesuit High School, Ben took up boxing and became a junior captain in the ROTC. He attended Pelican Boys State, where he got his first taste of his favorite sport, politics. At 19, he won the middleweight prize in a local boxing tournament. His performance in the final bout so impressed the boss of the local longshoremen's union that he came to Ben's locker room and offered him a job on the riverfront. Ben worked at this job consistently during his college years. Among the many longshore workers he worked with was the treasured Avery C. Alexander, who would later serve as state representative and also be inducted to the Louisiana Political Hall of Fame. Ben worked on the riverfront through college and law school, drove taxi cabs, started a pest control company, and took occasional jobs as a substitute teacher and tutor for wealthy kids. Right after graduating law school, he ran for an open seat in the legislature. At just 24 years old, his critics mocked his youth and inexperience, but Ben would have the last laugh eking out an unlikely win in a crowded and competitive field and launching a two-decade career in state politics. Baggert took the legislature by storm as a member of the Young Turks, reformers who set out to shake up Baton Rouge. While his colleagues often mistook him for a page, they soon learned not to underestimate him. He stuck to his principles, but understood the importance of maintaining good relationships with fellow legislators when disagreements arose. Often, after a contentious stand session, Ben could be found at night playing the piano as his opponents from earlier that day relaxed and lifted their voices, and sometimes their glasses, in song. A proud conservationist and good government advocate, he was among the first to sound the alarm on Louisiana's disappearing wetlands and filed some of the first bills protecting them and fighting pollution. In 1988, he took his cause all the way to D.C., winning a commitment from then-Vice President George H.W. Bush to protect Louisiana's wetlands. And he fought for the Louisiana brown pelican, which had nearly disappeared urging wildlife and fisheries to foster a new population of the state bird. For his tireless advocacy on behalf of the environment, Ben would twice be recognized as Conservationist of the Year by the National Wildlife Federation. In 1990, Ben was tapped by the Republican Party to challenge Democratic Senator J. Bennett Johnston. But as David Duke began his ascent in the polls, Ben did what seems unthinkable in today's political climate. He dropped out of the race to throw the election to his Democratic rival. It was a move that would earn him wide praise for statesmanship and courage. Baggert told reporters, I do not want my footnote in history to read, his persistence led to the election of a man who tarnished American conservatism for many years. Following the election, Ben retired from politics, but not from public service. For over 25 years, he has led several charitable organizations that assist developmentally disabled citizens with recreational and social activities. He formed and leads Triumph of Special People, which acquires and maintains safe housing for the disabled to live on their own outside of a group home setting. He continues with his very active law practice and in independent polls conducted by New Orleans Magazine. His peers honor him consistently with the distinction of top lawyer in a variety of practice fields. And he continues the fight for conservation, true conservative principles, and to render public service to his community. Ladies and gentlemen, Ben Baggert. <laughs>